Well, hello, this is Clint Locklear from Predator Control Group, and tonight we're doing the Trappers cooking show. I guess we're going to call it and get a big white hat and say wee wee a lot. But I had a question on YouTube where we were talking about meat foraging, and someone asked a very simple question, a great question, because we've all ate catfish pretty much the same way, and I told him that we could use a Thai recipe that even I can make. So I'm going to show you that. It's really simple. We're, we're cooking a lot of uh, fish tonight. So we've got uh, two cans of coconut milk. Don't do yourself a disservice and get the fat free. That's that's just no good. That's what's in the pan. So I just, I just dump the coconut milk in here. It's on medium heat. And then we're going to add other stuff to this. And it, I don't really go off any type of... Um, particular recipe on this but there's a little bit of curry and we have some red curry paste all this stuff you can get it at about any grocery store unless you live way up in the middle of nowhere so normally I use one but tonight I'm going to use more because we're cooking lots of fish which you're getting ready to see so I'm just going to put that in there this is ginger if you don't know what ginger is, go apps a hipster. They'll know where to find it in the grocery store. It's just a little root that's in a lot of Asian food. This is chili powder. It's just convenient. This will catch up with you later as you eat, so be careful if you're not used to eating anything with heat in it. This is lemongrass. This is one of the things that's really hard for me to grow here, so we just get it in a little tube. Tastes like lemon, as you say. We're going to add some black pepper. And all this is is a sauce, and you'll see what this does here in a second. So we've got some pepper. And now this is awesome stuff that we don't really use enough of. It's sesame seed oil. It's, it's very powerful. So you don't add too much of that. And this is the iname. Is that right? Umami, yeah. Umami. This is... Uh, <laughs> fish sauce or soy sauce but this is fish sauce and you're going to put this in here this already smells like you're in a, in a Thai restaurant and then we're just going to stir this up that's all that goes in here it, I, I'm not really worried about exactly what it does it's going to start turning this pink color that's the curry it's curry paste I'm just going to get this somewhat mixed up now the reason I'm doing this, if you don't want to fry food, or you want to have really good food that tastes good and you have all the really good fats, this is a good way to do it. Coconut milk makes you healthy. So that starts turning pink. So we're gonna take our fish. Now this is what me and Cindy caught in the Gulf of Mexico. This is mackerel, this is about two pounds. This is the reason we're using so much sauce. And all you do is put this in here and let it simmer and it'll turn white and flaky and you're done. That's really all it is. Now we're gonna be adding shrimp that we didn't meat forage for, uh, except at the grocery store. And uh, it was on sale. Uh, the, just uh, If you find sale on that stuff, get a bunch of it like we did and freeze it. So I'm gonna put this in here, which now I'm thinking the shrimp may not fit. You can do it except afterwards. And I'm just gonna push <laughs> this down in here all this fish and catfish would work fine and it would give it gives you a flavor that's extremely extremely good and so that's a way that you can cook fish without frying if you're trying to do more of the if you're looking for something besides just fried catfish which is great now i'm putting it over wild rice and my wife is trying to trick herself and this is cauliflower rice which i'm not eating not that it's that bad but i'll stick to the real stuff and you could use noodles or anything else you wanted to do. But this is, you can see how simple that is. Just go back through, watch the video, get the supplies. You catch some fish, any fish, crappie, catfish. It doesn't really matter what it is, bass, anything out of the ocean. And it gives you tremendous flavor that your wife will be happy about. Namaste. Namaste.